Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new video of PowerPoint School. I hope you are doing well and in this particular video, I'll show you how to make this animated intro in just PowerPoint. Before I start the tutorial, let me tell you that PowerPoint School is now taking a certified and premium course on Udemy. If you want to be the master of PowerPoint, this course is perfect for you. From now in every single week, I'll upload two or three new videos over there. Here you can see the name of PowerPoint School, so this is our community and I believe I'll get your kind support as always. I have provided the course link in the description of this video, so check it now and without wasting any further time, let's start our today's tutorial. Here I have already taken a new slide, at first we have to pick a text box, drag it over here, add some text, selecting all the text, change the font, make it bold, increase the font size make it center now what I'll do pick a rectangle drag it over this text box after that right click on this rectangle and select send to back now make sure this rectangle is in the middle of the text box then select all these text from this text box change its color now we need to select only the rectangle go to format from shape fill change its color to black from shape outline, select no outline. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate this rectangle. Bring it over here. From shape fill, select no fill. From shape outline, pick this color. Again from shape outline, we need to increase the weight, four and a half point. Holding the Ctrl button, scroll your mouse to zoom. And here we need to make some adjustment so that these two rectangles match perfectly then right click on it send it to back zoom out select this text box holding ctrl shift drag it to right and it will be duplicated change the font color change the text decrease the size of this text box do the same for this rectangle now select this text box press ctrl d to duplicate bring it over here select all this text decrease the font size Add some subtitle text, place it over here and then what I'll do select all of them and make sure these are in the middle of our slide. Now before we add the animation we have to do something more that is we have to pick a rectangle, drag it over here to cover this portion so that our animation looks good. Go to format from shape fill, change this color so that it matches with the background from shape outline select no outline. Holding ctrl shift drag it to down to cover this portion and resize it from this side press ctrl d to duplicate resize it bring it over here to cover this portion and we are done now from here i'll open the selection pane it will help us to select any object so now we can go for the animation part go to animation click on animation pane from here we can look over our animation status to add the first animation on this rectangle, select the rectangle from here. Here you can see the rectangle has been selected. From add animation, I'll select fly in. From effect option, select from left. Click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option. Increase the smooth end and press OK. Keep this on click, duration 0.75 second. Select the second rectangle. Here you can see the rectangle has been selected from add animation. Select fly in, from effect option select from left, set start with previous duration 0.75 second and delay 0.50 second. Click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option, increase the smooth end and press ok. After that we need to add the animation on this text box. So select the first text box, from add animation select fly in, from effect option select from top, set start after previous. Click on this drop down arrow from effect option, increase the smooth end, press OK. Now to copy the animation, select the animated text box. Click on animation painter tool to copy and paste it on this text box. Here you can see our animation has been copied. I'll set start with previous. Select the last text box. From add animation, select fly in. From effect option, make sure it is selected from bottom. Set start after previous, keep the duration 0.50 second, click on this drop down arrow from effect option, we need to increase the smooth end, press ok. And we are done. 
our animation is ready. Now if you start the slideshow you can see everything looks perfect. As always I have provided the download link of this template file in the description of this video so check it now. Make sure you check this powerpoint course there I will upload 2 or 3 new videos in every single week link is also in the description of this video. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial please give a like for this video. If you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe press the bell icon to get time to time notification from this channel. I will see you in the next one and thanks for watching.